heavily pregnant woman husband caught trafficking 10 kilograms of marijuana. Now, I don't know like what a heavily pregnant woman is. Is that like she was like overweight in the pregnancy? Does that mean like she was just like big? Like, I don't know what that means. Like, that's a weird description, like heavily pregnant. So I don't know, maybe twins, quadruplets, who knows? We'll, but we'll get to that later. So heavily, a heavily pregnant woman who is due to deliver her first child in two weeks landed in a lockup after she and her husband were caught trafficking 10 kilograms of marijuana at the Malaysian Thai border here on Sunday. So this woman's about to give birth in two weeks and they got her in a jail because they had 10 kilos of marijuana, which is 22 pounds. So they had 22 pounds of marijuana going from the Malaysian Thai border. Listen, that takes balls. I don't, I don't even know what the Malaysian Thai border looks like, but if somebody said, yo, cross these 22 pounds over the Malaysian Thai border, I would have been like, hell no, but whatever. I mean, sit, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So the couple who hailed, hailed from Perlis was detained at the Immigration Customs and Quarantine and Security Complex at 1150 while traveling back from their neighboring country. Kabang Pasu, District Police Chief, and Superintendent Razi Abu Hassan said officers manning the border checkpoint flagged down the couple's Toyota upon noticing something amiss with the pickup truck. Upon inspection of the vehicle, the police team found 10 packets of suspected marijuana worth up to 32,000 ringgits. So in Malaysia, they have the Royal Mint and the Royal Mint makes ringlets and ringlets, 32,000 ringlets. I did the math on it earlier. It ends up being like 6,900 bucks. So at $6,900 worth of weed. The amount of drug seized could supply, could cater the could cater the supply for some thirty two hundred addicts. I don't even know the math on that right there. I don't know how thirty two hundred weed addicts would be supplied from the ten kilos, and I don't know how long that supply would last. I don't know where these weed addicts are. I don't know how much they smoke. They sound scary. We'll, we'll get back to them in a second, too. The 34-year-old man and his 35-year-old wife had frequently crossed the border suspected of trafficking marijuana from the, from the neighboring country. So they were like, yo, we, we've seen you guys here a like, bunch of times. You were crossing $6,900 worth of weed every time. We, we know you're rich. Like, you didn't pay the guards? You got all that money. You got 6900 bucks that you should be able to pay everybody with. Rosian added that a urine test on the couple also turned out a pot for positive for marijuana. Not only did you crack these people for 10 kilos of weed, you make them go take a piss test? Like, I don't even understand what that, like, what is the waste of time and resources about that? Like, is it worse because you were high on weed when you tried to cross it? Or is maybe, is it like, is it a mitigating factor? Like, hey, I didn't even know what I was doing. Like, I was just super high and I, I don't, well, what, 10 what is in the back? Shit. Like, I don't know, whatever. He said the case is being investigated under Section 39B of the Dangerous Drug Acts for Drug Trafficking. The couple is being detained and remanded and ordered until January 14th for further investigation. Um, listen, man, I mean, when, if you go back to the, the picture on the website, like they have all like the, the weed and like these nice little like brown kilos. I don't know why like the, some of the, the international countries like package the weed like that. Like, I feel like that just makes it look super kilo, like cocaine-ish, like it, it just looks, it looks super illegal. I don't know if they did it like because they see it on the movies like that or something, but like it's the worst way you could package weed. And not only that is like it just makes like weird optics when these cops are standing in front of all these bricks and it's weed and it's the 3,200 weed addicts that were, were you know, just going to be out now because they don't have their, their bricks of weed coming. But listen, it's, it's a crazy story. There's a lot to unpack on it. I'm going to kick it back to you guys. What do you guys think about this one? Well, first of all, I think very, very pregnant um, is basically Asian for uh, she's like eight or nine months ready to pop, basically. No, it wasn't very pregnant. It was heavily, heavily pregnant. pregnant. Okay, heavily. Yeah, same thing. Heavily pregnant. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that, that that's what they mean. Like she's very far along. Like but she's ready to pop. See, like me, my grasp of the English language. I did a lot of prison time. It's kind of loose, right? But to me, heavy is a metric of weight. 
you know what I mean? So, well, technically, I don't know. Yeah, that, 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 that is because because pregnant women gain a lot of weight through the pregnancy. So she was heavily far along in the pregnancy. I mean, I've gained more weight over the holidays. I think my girl gained like 25 pounds. Like that wasn't that, that would I consider that heavily pregnant? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Listen, don't, I'm not the expert. I'm not a woman. I don't know how that should be addressed. I'm just saying it just sounds weird. This well, like, this I mean, I like can't to, imagine. Like tofu. I can't imagine what would happen. Go ahead, Dale. If, if these this woman was to cross the border into Louisiana, I mean, would she be treated a lot different? Uh, I don't know because there are Probably places not. in this country where, you know, it don't matter if you're pregnant or not. If they if they pinch you, they're going to piss test you. And I mean, I w I was in a halfway house with a bunch of pregnant women, so they ain't afraid to throw pregnant women in jail. Oh yeah, um, I don't know, Rico. Yeah. I think and I think I, I just. I, I think this story, Rico, could have been the reason why you had that story yesterday and why Thailand is reversing its whole policy on cannabis is because now they're becoming an export country to other Asian countries. Guarantee is some um, it, it is some um, um, Americans that are export, <laughs> exporting it. Well, I don't think I don't I, I don't think the pregnant lady was American. Hell yeah, there is. I don't think the you pregnant lady was it. American. She's she probably getting paid by Americans to do that shit. Getting paid <laughs> by Americans. I got my hands bro. on some oh, good Thai stick back in the seventies, back during the Vietnam War. I mean, we used to get Thai stick out of out of Thailand. So they've been exporting this stuff for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Jason, and I like the prices. I mean, if we could pick up a pound, what was that? A pound for um, six hundred and ninety, whatever those, mm -hmm. you know, local Thai. You know, it's like shit. It ain't what they do here. The math they do in the United States, that'd be 3.5 million. And there'd be a million and a half, you know, marijuana addicts waiting for their shoot up some marijuanas, you know, some marijuana stupid. They are in this country. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I, I did find it interesting how they worded everything. I thought it was very, very uh, humorous, you know, very, very, very interesting for them to word those things like that. But uh, I'm. Unless you got, you guys have anything else on this, I'm gonna move on to the next story, so we don't run out of time. I'm just say, I'm just say that the, the picture, the picture of that shit bagged up, that, that shit uh, packaged up. It looks like tofu. It, it, it I looks thought, like I tofu. thought it came from it Mexico like, instead of Thailand, the way they had it packaged. Yeah, that, that shit looks like. Uh, you know, I live in Gardena, right? We got the Tokyo Market right next to me. <laughs> that shit looks like some stuff <laughs> <laughs> that they put out in the, in the, uh, in the morning. Night from <laughs> ninety. Front, no like weed. That you don't need Acapulco yep. Gold is badass weed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is ninety nine ranch somewhere, right, Rico? Just saying, just saying, mm -hmm. just saying. That does not look like cannabis. Oh man, oh boy. 